Hey guys, Sean here. This is going to be a quick video, a uh, tech video on how to radius a gearbox shell. As you can see, I got my Lonex version 2 gearbox shell. Um, things you're going to need is a cleaning rag, your gearbox shell, and a Dremel. I have mine hooked up to a snake bit. Um, basically what radiusing is um, with version 2 and 3 gearboxes and some others um, all the force going forward from the piston slamming into the front of the gearbox will cause it to crack here or here um, obviously you don't want that <clears throat> and these cylinder window ain't, uh, cutouts are square um, basically radiusing is making them rounded that will dissipate the force um, and shock over a greater area and make it a lot less likely to crack your gearbox shell and when pairing that with a Zorro pad and neoprene protector um, that is definitely gonna prolong the life of your gearbox by a lot and make it a lot less likely for your gearbox shell to crack um, and <clears throat> Zorro pads will also do a lot of other good things and help your gearbox out in a lot of other ways. But, uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, there is one radiused corner. As you can see, it's now rounded inside and out. Kind of need to clean it up in there a little bit. But as you can see, it's rounded in there. Um, I might work on it a little bit more, do a little bit more to it. But um, basically, you're going to do that to the two corners here and the two corners on the front of the other side of your gearbox. Um, so, my, my uh, light just turned off, but uh, I'll pause the video and I'll do the other ones uh, and I'll be back at you.
Alright guys, um, here's the radius shell, see the rounded edges on each side, um, inside and out. There's a couple of burrs that I need to sand off, but it's all good. Um, once you're done, you're going to want to thoroughly, thoroughly clean uh, and wipe out any metal shavings or particles left in the gearbox. Um, now, right now, I'm going to show you <coughs> one of my gearboxes that's put together that I already have radiused. Um, it's going to be on my VFC M4 on top there. Pause, I'll take off the upper receiver. Kinda of hard to do one handed, but hey. Alright. As you guys can see, that one's already radiused, and you can also see that my camera doesn't want to focus. Okay, you can also see that I slipped a couple of times and scratched the outside of the shell, which is not a big deal. If you guys slip and scratch it, there's no not going to be any problems. Um, this was actually my first radius job ever. And it actually turned out pretty good. I've never had problems with this gearbox. But uh, there you go. Now you guys know what a radius shell will look like when it's put together. And you guys know how to do it. Um, I will do a internal video of this gun, my VFC M4. I'll do a gearbox review video of the Lone X, um, along with this SHS 7 tooth piston. And that Lone X shell will be going into my Scar L. D Boy's Scar L. I repl I've replaced every single thing in that gun except for the gearbox shell, so I figured why not. Plus, I wanted to run Modify Ceramics, so... And you can't do that with a 7mm shell. Anyway, um... Thanks for watching, guys. This is the Lonex version 2 gearbox. I'll have a video posted of the gearbox. Um... Basically, a simple review of it. And now you guys know how to radius a gearbox. That's a must-have if you're gonna have any sort of stressful setup. Um, yeah, plus his orbital pad. Thanks, guys.